Welcome back to the production here, dude. Today we're going to be continuing Find Love or Die Trying, so... Yeah, I tried this out last time and I personally really liked it and the first part actually got quite a few views. So I was just like, you know what? Let's play more of it. And I'm pretty interested to see like how the story goes too. So, <laughs> yeah. Also, when I like load up the game, I actually did have to like start over from the beginning. Because they did get like a slight update to like... First the home screen and also... <laughs> I guess just some of the backgrounds. It wasn't really anything like too special, so that's why I'm not like showing it. Or I didn't like record that part at least because... The story's still the same, it's just like a few different like changes. But anyway, this is where we left off last time, and we're gonna continue. So I stumbled back to my room and plopped onto my bed. Um I was just about to close my eyes when I heard a knock at the door. I shuffled over in a haze. Hi, how are you? Oh hey, it's Kat. Hey there the Googs. Sorry to bother you this late. It's alright. What's up, Kat? Remind me, it's gonna make myself real comfortable. Ooh, that's cool actually. Look at that. <laughs> there you go. There you go, so you can do, do screenshots now too. I think they added that because last time I was trying those keys, um, <laughs> I'm, I think they added that recently, but if they didn't, then uh, <laughs> I just had skill issue in the first part. Uh, Cat walked by me and comfortably sat herself on my bed. Oh my god, you have no idea how much better your beds are compared to the staff. You'd think the ones actually working here would get treated nicely. I closed the door then sat facing her on the opposite side of the bed. I'm guessing you're not coming to my room at night to start a workers union. <laughs> Yeah, she about to. <laughs> I wonder, what would you want me to come to your room for instead? I can think of a few things. <laughs> You'd think five women would be enough for a person. You're incorrigible, the Googs. <laughs> anyway, as the producer, I'm obliged to help you survive until the end of the show. Just until the end of the show? I'm heartbroken, yo. Come on. I want to stay with the cat, you know, you're cool. <laughs> uh, being your babysitter doesn't pay well enough to make it a long-term gig. <laughs> I'll be checking in with you each night to let you know how you're doing, and give you some advice here and there. That's nice of you. Thanks, Cat. Well, to be honest, finding a new person to take your place would be a recruiting nightmare. <laughs> Back to our topic. Um, our audiences really loved your date with Terra today. Honestly, I've got no idea what to say about your date today with Terra. <laughs> Except that I'm surprised anyone thought it was a good one. <laughs> Can I really be picky when my life's on the line? I guess not. That said, I'm hoping we can sprinkle a little more uh, drama into the show. More romance. Love triangles. Less pigeons. <laughs> anyway, so tomorrow, I want you to find who your other soulmate candidate is and ask them on a date tomorrow. So, alright, or I'd rather go on a second date with Terra tomorrow, yeah. I like Terra, you know? <laughs> she is my favorite. And I kind of like that, <laughs> that thing. Like the last uh, date we went on, that was actually kind of funny. <laughs> I, I get it that it would be better for ratings to date somebody else, but I like what I have with Terra so far. I don't want to give her the wrong idea this early on, you know? I understand that. Really, I do, but... Really, it's out of our hands. Fuck! What do you mean? Look, in a perfect world, you'd be able to do just that. But if you do that, the show's ratings won't be high enough. And how's that my concern? If the show's ratings aren't high enough, they'll just axe the show before the last day. And it'd be treated as if you didn't end up with anyone at the end, if you catch my drift. Oh. <laughs> oh no. I get why you wouldn't want to, but that's exactly what the last person in your shoes did. And they're not around to tell you about how it went anymore. <laughs> we will never know what happened to them, everybody. Alright, I'll ask uh, somebody else tomorrow. Can I at least explain why I have to do this to Terra? Nope. You already know the answer to that, that Googs. Would that be good for ratings? Well then. <laughs> uh, well, that's pretty much what I needed to tell you before tomorrow. It's getting late and we both got big days tomorrow. How about we call it a night? Sounds good to me. It's worth anything. Go <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, the Googs. Good night, cat. Bye, have a great time. She left my room, closing my door behind her. I went back to laying on my bed and closed my eyes. I kept thinking about the terror before I slept. The sound of waves crashing against the shore. Oh, what? <laughs> Grabbed the voice saying, Hey. I can hear a woman's voice call out to me within a dream. You probably can't hear me in here, but... I try to respond, but no words come out. The Googs, promise me one thing. Don't forget. Don't you dare forget. You promised. Promises are unbreakable, right? That's what you told me. You promised. But you lied, didn't you? <laughs> What's that dream all about? Oh, episode 2, the second one. Oh, yeah, funky music. And we got all uh, five of them here. We kicked, uh, we kicked off our morning with a delicious meal made by Violet. 
So, tell us more about your dream, Terra. I don't really remember much, but I was in a video game and I was getting hit on by a lot of pigeons. Huh? Uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? What if it's a sign? I'm sorry, what? It was a dream, nothing more. I don't see how. Allie had a double grin on her face. I think it is a sign, Terra. It's a sign that you should try making video games. Bruh. The world needs more pigeon dating sims. You're right. There's no time to waste. And there she goes. <laughs> Terra ran off. Oh my. Are you certain that was a good idea to spur on her? Of course. Seriously, what's the worst that could happen? I feel the chill run down my spine. <laughs> There's a feeling the game's just gonna <laughs> not do well. Oh, here we go. Everybody's here. Oh, there you are, the Googs. I've been looking for you. It's time to decide who your other soulmate uh, candidate will be. You remember what we discussed yesterday, right? How could I afford gore? <laughs> it's not like I've ever forgotten anything important before. Except for, well, everything. Stupid. Save the snark for whichever poor girl you end up seeing today. <laughs> oh, that's things, yo. Come on, you don't have to roast me alive like that, yo. <laughs> it'll... Wait, it'll be just between your two soulmate candidates from here on out, so choose wisely. Oh, wait, really? So, if we don't get chosen, what are we supposed to do? Well, for starters, we're in a tropical paradise. Think of it as a vacation. Soulmates aren't real anyway, so it's not a big deal. They're not real! Oh boy, the Googs, you might want to pick your second soulmate candidate quick. Uh, Chotamate, cat. Will we, uh, will we be splitting up the group after today? Nope, don't worry. We're still able to hang out together, and who knows where that will go. Whew. Good to know my battle plans will still come in handy. <laughs> I mean, uh, friendship plans. Good to know I'll still get to see my new friends, yes sir. Stop the cow. So without further ado, the Googs, who's the unlucky girl? <laughs> I'd like to spend time today with... Ali, Scarlet, Violet, or Yui? Hmm. I do wish I could go on another date with Terra, but I think that'll have to wait until later, but... I think I'll go Yui. I'm a sucker for, like, the, the childhood friend trope in the uh, anime, so... It's definitely gonna be Yui! Yes, I made a bet with four you'd choose Yui today. Great choice, the Googs. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> yeah, boy. Alright, alright. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> alright, here we go. Wonder what Yui's gonna be like here. The forest to the north of the house was as serene as could be. With each step forward, I felt the soft earth give way beneath my feet, and the wind caress my skin. Green as far as the eye could see, and her, in a flowing white dress, standing in the middle of it all. Hello, and there she is. Hey there, the Googs. What you doing all the way out there? I was looking for you, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I was hoping we could sp Oh, I was hoping we could spend some time here. I thought that was you. <laughs> anyway, then consider me the luckiest girl in the whole world. You had the cutest giggle, the kind that instantly put a smile on your face. Well, you found me now. Care to join me for a walk? I'd like that. Ooh, that looks cool. What the hell? All right, I'm taking that. <laughs> That's cool, actually. I might make that the thumbnail. Uh, we started to walk down the forest path together. I couldn't help but be fascinated by your hair, flowing like water in the wind. I doubt you remember, but I'm from way out in the country. I grew up surrounded by animals. Nature, you name it. It was just me and my grandma, my sisters, and the alpacas, and my bunnies Bun and Bun Bun, oh. and the chickens, and so many farm animals to count. To answer your question from earlier, nature takes me back home. Do you still live there? Yep, wouldn't have it any other way. Though I had moved to the city for a bit way back when. You know, that's when I met you. How did we meet? Well... Ooh, here we go, full story. You know, one thing I hated about the city is that everyone's in a rush. People just walk by each other as if they're obstacles to get past, instead of, well, people. I came to the city alone, didn't know left from right, up and down my butthole. <laughs> no. And I got lost. I swear every building looks the same. You could say that again. I try to ask people for directions to where I would live, or where the school was, but no one would give me the time of day. Except for you. I helped you? Yeah, you didn't even know me, but you took the time to help me figure out my way around. Gosh, I'd never been so embarrassed in my life. Why were you embarrassed? Uh, you know. <laughs> Shy. 
I mean, I could see why, but anyway. We found out later- oh, we, we found out later that we went to the same high school, but we never talked too much after that. Aw, oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's not your fault, the Googs. I had to move back home pretty soon after anyway. Well, I'm happy I'm getting a second chance to get you- uh, to get to know you better, Yui. <laughs> I feel the same way, the Googs. You're just like how I remember. Well, actually, the whole trying to date five girls at a time thing came out of nowhere, but wipe is full of surprises, I guess. It shouldn't take long to remove them from the equation. Hey. Alright, Yui, you're sus. <laughs> I thought, um, I thought Cal was sus, but I think Yui is also sus. In fact, trust nobody on this uh, game show, everyone. <laughs> the only one I trust now is Terra, just because, uh, she's too, like, uh, she's too busy to care about her games to actually want to kill anyone. <laughs> anyway. Uh, go man, what did you say? I couldn't hear you. Just a little joke. <laughs> Stop the cow. I was just saying, I'm so happy to see you again. Here's to the future. I spent the rest of the day uh, taking in the nature and making up for lost time. Apparently I was always ending up in trouble back then. I guess not much has changed. Something about Yui made it so easy to open up. I found myself almost telling her the truth about the show several times. Even though I couldn't tell her the whole truth, I could tell her just enough of what was worrying me to make me feel at home and at ease. Whatever's getting you down, I'm sure it'll all be okay. No matter what, I'm on your side, the Googs. <laughs> Alright. Date with Yui is... Um, okay. <laughs> no, that's it. So, I was about to enter my room, and I felt a familiar tap on my shoulder. Well, hi, and I look, it's Cat again. It's Kit Kat. <laughs> hey there, the Googs. Got a minute? I want to make Terra and Yui jealous. It'd be good for ratings. <laughs> I doubt. Um, anyway, sorry, what? You're no fun. Anyway, she opened the door to my room and walked inside. I followed suit. I've got some good news. I'm all ears. I thought you were the Googs. Yeah. Alright, turns out my strategy worked. We got in enough ratings to avoid early canning. Don't get me wrong, people loved it when you and Terra were the main ship, but... Now with Yui as some serious competition? Let's just say online threads went from optimistic and untied to downright murderous. <laughs> uh, I'm a little concerned about the murderous part, but okay. Well, I'm glad to hear I get to live another day. For now, at least. But I don't change quickly if our viewers don't feel like your relationships with both of them are progressing. Cat laughed and took a seat on my bed. Once again. <laughs> you know, I'm curious how you're feeling about Terra and Yui. Between those two, do you have a favorite? Obviously Terra, though. Yui's cool, though, like I will admit, but I do like Terra. The reason I chose her first. <laughs> I think I have a better connection with Terra right now. Say what you want about her, it's never boring with Terra. Ah, uh, I had a feeling you'd say that, and you're right to say that. Well, we'll see where things go with her. Something tells me you'll get a chance to hang out with her again tomorrow. Hey, finally. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. Keep it up, and who knows? You might just be the first one to make it out of here. Night, the Googs. Good night, cat. She left my room, closing the door behind her. Guess it's time to turn in for the night. Oh, is this a dream again? Wait, I see waves crashing soundly against the shore and dissolve to nothing before they reach my feet. This must be my dream. She's next to me. I can't make out her face or even hear her voice, but I know it's her. The way the pale moonlight dances in her hair is so nostalgic. You look like you've seen a ghost, the Googs. You. Somehow, I can't see your face nor hear your voice, but I know it's you. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I hear my own voice speaking as if it were coming through an old cassette. Are you thinking about what's going on out there now? Ten bucks that is better on the same. <laughs> I just bet ten bucks on something, <laughs> apparently. Out there, every day is a fight to stay alive. Here, at least there's food, shelter, a place to call home, and most importantly, high speed and unlimited internet. Yeah, always the most important part, obviously. <laughs> I reach for her hand and hold it tight. And people that love you. I know, and I love you too. I know how lucky I am to be here, but I still want to see the other side. Why? You wouldn't survive a day out there. Same goes for me. Because it's real. It's real life. Where things happen that aren't planned by some producer. Where living isn't just following a script. I'd do anything for just a taste of it. Whoa. Okay, I don't know what's happening here. Um, anyway. We've been over this. I know. I'm just so tired of this. I... What the hell are we doing here, the Googs? I felt the same way she did, but there was nothing we could do... Not if we valued our lives. There's no escaping from here alive. We're living another day. But what are we living for? I sighed. <sighs> you really want to see the other side that badly? Yes. I laughed, 
When she had that look in her eye, I knew there was no convincing her otherwise. Even if she had to go alone, she'd see it through. And I loved her for that. I guess she'll owe me uh, 10 bucks pretty soon. <laughs> What's this 10 bucks about, though? That's what I wonder. Anyway, she laughed. Haha, <laughs> you'll be the judge of that. And now we're back. <laughs> episode 3, take a chance. I think after this episode, I will actually uh, <laughs> just call it one part. Because I feel like if I go on too long, it will <laughs> just be an hour long, and I don't want. I don't think people want to just <laughs> want me to like speed run through it like that. Anyway, in the morning, the girls and I decided to hang out in the garden outside the house. Hey, it's uh, let's see, Yui, Terra, and Scarlet. Oh wow, there's all kinds of flowers here that I've never seen before. Really? You've never seen a tulip? Grandma and I only grew hyacinth since oh. back home, so nope. Not even on the internet. And I thought I had to get out more. <laughs> Can't believe that the only flowers I ever work with are Venus flytraps. What do you do with those? Well, you do a lot of experiments at the lab. Don't you ever find yourself thinking, wouldn't it be cool to make a Venus flytrap that could walk and talk? <laughs> yeah, he was like, uh, probably not. And then, yeah, Tara's like, literally never. Ah, uh, it's whatever. She ran away two years ago. Both my neighbors lost their pet cats the same day, too. I miss you, Fluffy. You sure they were lost? Oh, and there's Violet. Tea's ready. Thanks, Violet. I got a cup for everybody. The aroma from the tea really worked up my appetite. I had prepared some treats for us as well. Please enjoy. Spent the rest of the morning eating delicious treats and sipping on delicious tea, as we theorized what might have happened to Fluffy. I theorized that the fly trap obviously ate him. <laughs> or her. I don't know what it. I don't know what the cat's gender is. Personally, my money's on the felines being the culprits. Every cat I've met has had a nasty surprise up their sleeve. <laughs> I got says cat right there, you know? You know? <laughs> Producer. He's like, yeah, every every like feline and also every chick named cat I've ever met. <laughs> anyway, I figured it's about time to talk with cat about my next date, but I felt a tap on my back. Cat, is that? I turned around and a girl in front of me was as surprised as I was. Hi, how are you? Hey, it's Allie. Cat? No, it is Allie. Oh, sorry, Owie. Oh, what's up? She looked to see if anyone else was around before she spoke. Have you noticed anything weird lately? What do you mean? Something about this show gives me the creeps. I went out for a walk in the forest last night, you know, because it's gorgeous and all. But after I got there, I must have dozed off for a minute. Taking a nap in the forest at night, you're braver than most, Owie. <laughs> Let me finish. When I woke up, I was back in my room, on my bed. And I swear I don't remember ever walking back. Huh. That sounds pretty crazy if it really happened. You sure you just didn't have a weird dream? I know you mentioned it. I tried Scarlet's cooking for fun last night. That was a big mistake. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but... Did you notice anything strange happened last night? I don't think so. It was just a regular night. I had a conversation with Kat in my room, but that was it. I am five girls. The date wasn't enough. <laughs> she said the same thing. Oh, sorry. I couldn't help myself. Well... I guess I'll just be staying away from Scarlet's cooking and chalk it up to a real ass dream. Thanks for listening to Googs. It's my pleasure, Allie. See you later. And off she goes. <laughs> just as fast as she had come initially. Oh, someone's in a hurry. Hey, cat, I was looking for you. Afternoon, the Googs. Same here. I wanted to ask, did you guys, or did your guys, do anything last night to Allie? Not that I know of. Our staff leaves the Castellona night. Guess there's nothing to worry about. Cat's been honest with me so far about everything. Right? <laughs> yeah, surely she uh is being honest. Surely. <laughs> anyway, more importantly, it's time for phase two. You're done pretty decently with setting up Terra and Yui as your soulmate candidates. People are eating it up. The romance? Whatever. More importantly, every time they're on screen, uh, we get one hell of a ratings boost. <laughs> From here on out, you'll be uh, going on dates with either of them. That'll be your best bet to get out of here alive. That sound good to you? You almost make it sound like I have a choice. <laughs> I'm glad we're on the same page as always, the Googs. But enough with the pleasantries, who's the unlucky girl today? Ah ha ha. Guess I'd like to spend today with Terra. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Alright, sounds like a plan to me. I think she's working on something in the mansion. Lead the way. <laughs> Just seeing all these interactions with the cat it makes me wonder, is there possibly a secret route that... Uh, we can go on to end up with Cat in the end. <laughs> I think that'd be pretty hilarious. And like, you know, one of the endings is that like, since we're dating her and we're not actually dating one of the actual contestants, <laughs> we still die anyway. 
Because <laughs> Damien and Rivers running the show is like, all right, this was not part of the contract. All right, you know what? Come here. And he just he just kills us on the spot. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I knocked on the door to the games room. There's Terra. Hey, the Googs, what's up? I thought I'd check in and see how you're doing with your game. Let me show you what I'm working on then. Terra handed me her game device. Not all of the art's ready, but I'm hoping it'll be done soon. It's a farming game. I had to ditch the pigeon dating idea after, well, finding out it was already done. And that's really a shame for the whole world, really. But in this game, you get to live in a village out in the country, make friends, raise crops, and decimate all the invaders with your di uh, with your giant mecha pigeon de death machine. Huh? <laughs> Damn. It sounds like Stardew Valley, but like with extra steps <laughs> of like invaders trying to destroy your city. <laughs> and there's 1 million possible weapon combinations and that sounds cool. That sounds different. Yeah, that sounds cool. I'd love to play it. I'm curious. How come you decided to make a farming game? Um, good question. They've just got a special place in my heart. I can see why though. Farming games are kind of fun. They're like pretty leisurely and also fun at the same time. So yeah, uh, I used to just play these uh, morning till night every day. You can probably tell, I'm not really a go out and party kind of person. To be honest, I don't know enough people to go to parties anyway, but whatever. But that is more fun to do your own thing or hey, it's your choice on how you spend your time. Yeah, it's more fun to do your own thing. Like, uh, it's more fun to stay indoors and do what you enjoy. That's how I feel about it. Enough talk. Try playing it. I want to see how you feel about it. Alright, here we go. Tile screen displayed with a click. Star Blue Valley. <laughs> I was a mecha pilot who got tired of life in the mecha core and decided to move out to the country to become a farmer. That's a pretty good one at that. Every season I'd learn to plant, water, and harvest new kinds of crops. Tara would give me advice for farming in every season. Her face was so close to mine. She'd watch my every move with a pensive expression. Farming and fishing felt great, but fishing was almost impossible to do at first. The mecha parts of the game felt incredible. You could even get to know the villagers and have relationships with them too. There was just one thing that was a bit weird. Oh, first, wow, what you have so far is incredible, Terra. You think so? Yeah, really. It's incredible. I never thought you could combine farming and being a mecha pilot in the same game, but you did it just fine. Thanks, Dagoogs. That's nice of you to say. There's just one thing I think was a little off. What's that? Any feedback would be great. I feel like the time. Or I feel like the relationships with the townspeople were a little weird. The dating aspects didn't really feel right. Ah, I knew you noticed that. It's kind of embarrassing, but I've never actually dated before, so I have no idea what it's really like. And to be honest, I've never had a real friend either. But it's not too much to ask. Her voice suddenly reduced to a whisper. Ooh, maybe you and I could be friends? Yes, hell yeah. <laughs> hell, you even said it too, like, I'd be honored to be your friend, yo. <laughs> Let's be uh, gaming buddies. <laughs> that said, please don't drop me in a video game again. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, what? Anyway, watching you play gave me some ideas. Want to help me with testing them? Sure. I'd be happy to help however I can. We'd both suggest ideas, she'd implement it, and we'd test it together and repeat. It just kept getting better and better. Tara's smile and enthusiasm was contagious. I couldn't help but be excited for her and in awe of her drive. We spent the rest of the day working on her game, but it only felt like minutes. I'm just glad it wasn't another virtual reality game. <laughs> yeah, the next one that she makes it'll legitimately fry your brain. <laughs> You'll become barbecue chicken. Uh, I was about to turn in for the night when I heard a knock on my door. Hey, cat, I thought you weren't going to come over tonight. Sorry about that. I got tied up in some things. Everything okay? Good as always. Care to join me for a walk? Sure, that sounds nice. And away we go. Alright, here we go. <laughs> we walked at a relaxed pace with... Cat slightly ahead, leading the way. So how are you feeling about day three, the Googs? Who's your front runner now? Yeah, I still like Tara the most, honestly. Um, yeah, she's still the one I like most. If anything, getting to meet and know the other girls made me like her even more. There's no one I'd rather spend a day with than Tara, you know? There's nothing quite like that. Aw, oh, that's cute. Also a perfect answer for the camera. Thank you very much. I guess we'll be giving our fanbase some more things to go rabbit over soon, hmm? You could say that again. <laughs> perfect. Well, I'm happy you've got at least one girl you're really interested in, but it helps you've got chemistry with both. Tomorrow, we'll milk this love triangle by having you date the girl you didn't today. Sound good to you? I'm noticing a powder and making it sound like I have a choice when I really don't. <laughs> hey man, she's gotta get you in somehow, you know? 
Anyway, none of us really have a choice nowadays, I'm afraid. Alright, I gotta get back to editing today's footage. You ready to head back to the mansion? Sounds good to me. He walked back in comfortable silence. Heh, <laughs> night. See you later, cat. Bye, have a great time. And there she goes. <laughs> so, if we get caught trying to escape, there's no telling what would happen to us. It's a chance we have to take. I know, but we need to know what we're up against. We know the island better than anyone by now, the gooks. We'll be fine. I'm not so sure. Damien's brought in that scientist for his latest experiment. All I've heard is that she's the one who built the prototype. The one Damien used to turn six into a vegetable. What the hell? That's why it, that explains why there's only uh, the brothers five and not the brothers six. Like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, they probably disappeared. <laughs> not to mention the old audiences too. Shit. I think they must have killed at least a hundred people by now and they still haven't perfected it. If we get caught, I get what you're trying to say. Are you still with me on this? It's not too late. You didn't even have to ask. Of course I'm with you. Who are you? Somehow, I know you're close by. But every time I try to see your face, the dream ends. <laughs> Damn, the plot really thickens there though. Because like now I want to theorize too that like... That Goog is likely uh... Was involved with somebody before he went onto the island and now like... Of course he lost his memory and whatever. But yeah. Anyway, I want to make a theory too, like, before we end this, so... I think what might have happened was that... Like, that Googs and whoever this chick is that he was with, because we don't know who she is yet. Maybe, like, uh... What if... The two were actually, like, forced into being on the show, and, uh... Of course, since that Googs lost his memory... The crew, like, makes it out to... Just him actually agreeing to be on it, at first. But then he actually forgot, and he was like... Well, wait, I don't think I agreed to this. <laughs> So what if he was actually, like, uh, forced onto the island with this other chick and now, uh, he really has to do this, like, game show or else both he and this chick died. <laughs> I don't know. That's just a little theory. <laughs> I don't know if it made any sense to you guys, but yeah, that's my take on it. But with that, I do hope you guys enjoyed this part of Find Love or Die Try. In the top right corner of your screen, there will be an annotation to the next part once it becomes available. And so, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.